Hi YouTube, it's Jay Tech Wizard here, and today I'm going to show you guys iOS 6 beta. So first of all, I'm going to head over to the settings app to show you guys the version. See, this is 6.0, build 10A010. You may notice some very interesting user interface changes. They finally decided to include battery percentages on iPod touches. They have also put two new apps on the home screen, Dictionary and iStore iStore combines the iTunes Store app and the App Store app. If we were to click on that, you'd be able to see your apps, your music, how to search through them and where your results will be displayed, and your downloads slash purchases. If you want to see the dictionary, you click on Dictionary, and it'll load the dictionary. If you click on that, that's just a recent search, and I just wanted to test it out. And it shows the definition and the word. And um, this is active, so you can type in whatever you'd like, and uh, the keyboard will pop up. Another very interesting feature of iOS 6 is in the spotlight. If I were to search for light, like I have, it'll show you light, blah, blah, blah. And if you tap that, you'll get the dictionary. If you also put in a math equation, it will be able to solve it. For instance, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Another very interesting thing is let's say you go to Safari. Now Safari is a very interesting app. It is both supported in the portrait orientation and the landscape orientation. Conventionally, when you're using multitasking and you double click, you only get it in portrait mode. However, with iOS 6 in landscape mode, you do get your multitasking bar. So those are some of the very few changes in iOS 6. And as I figure out more of them, I'll post some more videos. Alright YouTube, this is Jake TechWizard. Thank you for watching this video on iOS 6, and I'm signing off.